Hey, Daniela here. So how important is it to have shared interests with your partner? That's what I asked you and your responses range from important to very important to like extremely important. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you why that's wrong and why it's a cop out to blame your breakup, the demise of your relationship on a lack of shared interests. Look, it doesn't matter if your partner wants to watch football and you wanna get your nails done or if you wanna to go to yoga and they wanna go for a run, it doesn't matter. The reason why is because if you're with the right person, you're communicating properly, you know how to make them feel good, and they know how to make you feel good, which means that no, no matter whatever you do, as long as you're together, you're feeling good, you're having fun, which means doing dishes can be fun, which means going over your taxes can even be enjoyable, which means that no matter what you're doing, you're actually feeling great. And that's why you get into a relationship in the first place, right? You want to lean on somebody, you want someone to support, you want someone to love you, and you want to actually feel good in their presence. And when you're with the right person, you do. It doesn't matter what you're doing, if you're doing it together or not. As long as you are in their presence, doing perhaps mundane things, you feel good, and that's the point. So it is a cop-out to blame the demise of your relationship on a lack of shared interests. And the reason is because there's something below just the, the, the common interests, right? It doesn't mean that you, that you don't need to have shared interests. It just means that that tells me that you're not communicating properly, that you're not sharing properly, and that for whatever reason, he doesn't feel good in your presence, you don't feel good in his presence. And if you're not feeling good, why would you want to spend time together anyway? It's not the lack of shared interests, it's what's going on underneath, the communication, and how do you feel when you're around them, and how does he or she feel when they're around you? That's the real issue. And if that's coming up for you, that means that you've got to have a conversation. You don't have to necessarily find the, the, best, the best activity that will be interesting to both of you. You have to have a conversation. You have to get down to the base, the foundation of the relationship to see what's happening. So let me know what you think. It is not important to have shared interests in a relationship. And it's a cop out to blame a lack of shared interests for the breakup or the demise of your relationship. Let me know what you think here in the comments in my private Facebook group. And until I see you soon, take good care of your sweetheart. Bye-bye.